I'm glad you all are here sharing Bora Bora. Um, this is, of course, going to be a short message, but a very profound one and really important for all of us to hear. And <clears throat> this is about Heaven's Cross, which occurs on March 22nd, 2023. So, you know, when we have the vernal equinox or the spring equinox, this opening is occurring and will not close. And this is a transmission from Archangel Michael about Heaven's Cross and what we can expect from this and what this is all about. Well, it's not specifically detailed, but enough for us to get a taste of it. And um, you'll hear more about that on um, messages for light workers on Marina's channel when she and I uh, talk about Heaven's Cross. So <clears throat> begin transmission from Archangel Michael. Yes, the earth is going through an evolution, as are you, humanity. We in the heaven realms are guided, are guiding, nudging, and prompting you toward your greater good for your divine plan here on earth. This density experiment is ending, and a new way of be being, thinking, and feeling in fifth density is not only possible, but is a reality now upon your third density world. How is this possible? The fifth density frequencies are now streaming freely onto your planet and throughout all who live upon the earth. You are a light being. And the vehicle you temporarily reside in is now going through profound changes to encompass the energies of the higher dimensional frequencies which are upon the planet now. You may ask how to access these energies. You are only to love yourself unconditionally and allow these fifth dimensional frequencies to integrate with your third density bodies. You will be the template for humanity as you become a crystalline being while in human form. This is unprecedented upon the earth. You are undergoing this metamorphosis now. The timing and changes are happening as one can embrace their own divinity for it is in this form that we become our creators while on earth. For this is the evolution of humanity and exactly why you are here on earth now. Everyone will have their own timing for the unfoldment into the fifth dimensional energies, as each being will absorb and allow at different rates. Some it may take years, and some almost instantaneously. How will this look? You will have access and be connected to your soul and divine source directly. This is what you've been waiting for. It has arrived, and now you'll be called upon within your life to bring forth your gifts to help others. This is your divine plan, for in using your gifts and abilities for others, your greatest fulfillment will unfold. This unfolding may take a year or so, so don't rush yourself. It is called unfolding because it will be brought in front of you when you are ready. Again, allow and integrate deep breathing often to allow the energies. Your heart's desire will be to serve others. This will be your feeling of satisfaction and your soul's delight, bringing peace and joy to yourself and others. Now go forth and allow, embrace the changes, and integrate the energies which will continue upon the planet forevermore. This does not close. This gateway, this doorway to the other dimensions, to the higher frequencies, doesn't close. 
this is me speaking. I'll continue with his message. He just says, I am Archangel Michael, your protector and your friend in divine loving oneness of the one source. End of transmission. And the card I pulled for this is the magician. Focused manifestation and communication. So again, these are energies. This is the opening. This is the time when we are having the higher dimensional frequencies break through. We have allowed enough in our hearts around this world to allow these higher frequencies to come. And it's not going to close. It may be a little and then more and then more over time because they don't want us to be overwhelmed. <laughs> and, you know, I can appreciate that. Now, I did check with Sanat Kumara and ask him about Heaven's Cross. And this is his transmission, just a few words. He says, yes, you'll be more of your true self, expanded awareness, a knowing, a realignment with your divine path in accordance with all that is. And then finally, I had a transmission from a being or group of beings called the Spirit Speaks. And it says, the Spirit speaks to all. Please pay heed. We come before you now calling for you, for you all to begin the journey of the soul. Experience your soul as a life force and guiding principle. We are your ancestors from many star seeds ago, though you may not know this. We are guiding the earth's evolution and with nature and the elements becoming one with nature and this connection creates a deep resonance while we are in spirit. We are eternal and do many jobs throughout eternity. We bring you much healing energies while we are here. Mankind is arriving at a precipice and will make choices to evolve rapidly now or slowly over the years. It is yours and only the watchers Spend time allowing these frequencies of higher dimensional light and shift the planet at the same time. For you are working in tandem and are very much a part of the earth while in your human form. This is a wondrous experience to commune with nature and Mother Earth. Give your love to her daily. This is Spirit Speaks. End of transmission. And for that, I pulled the Four of Pentacles, and the key words are finding your personal power and new vision. So those were pretty amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's that was what I have to say at this point from the uh, archangels and some of the guides. And you'll hear more if you um, tune in to messages for light workers um, on Marina's channel coming up on Thursday. So we'll talk about Heaven's Gate and what we can expect and what that'll feel like, what that'll look like across the earth. Um, I know I'm excited about it and I know Marina and I have felt those energies coming in and we have been messaging back and forth to each other. We were like, really in sync with what's going on with all these higher frequencies coming in and these kind of shifts that are happening for us or, you know, how we're feeling this really big energy <laughs> coming in. It's like we're scatterbrained. No, I should speak for myself. I'm scatterbrained. <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll stop and say hi to everyone. Um, thank you for being here. And I'll just go down the list. I know I said hi to Sherry and Bora Bora, who were here in the beginning, and Lauren and Marina, my light worker and sister of the mystical tarot. And um, let's see. And Marvita Dragonfly. Hi, Rose Blue. Hi. Um, Let's see. I think that's it. I'm just a oh, 
Caron, Caron, or Car I don't know how to say your name, darling. I'm sorry. Um, and Jules Niner. Uh, I'm surprised you. <laughs> Rose Blue. I'm ADHD. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm there all the time. I I hearing it because I'm telling you, if I had this all the time. <laughs> I would be, how do I even, how would you function? Oh my goodness. I guess I better get used to this though, because um, this is just a taste of what we're going to talk about on the Lightworkers show. So um, this is something I think we're all going to have to look at and see what our truth is and see how, you know, how we can allow this into our lives while functioning in 3D land, <laughs> trying to function with all this going on. So um, for now, I'm going to say goodbye and sign off. I'm so thankful that all of you tuned in for this. And if you didn't see it from the very beginning, please do so, um, because it's a really important message. Uh, March 22nd is our light worker big moment <laughs> we'll say it like that so we've been waiting for this and we're on the planet for it and here it is so and it's already starting <laughs> i think it started about i mean these energies have been coming in probably started half a year ago but we're just now it's more and more um but anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jules Niner, my extreme anxieties kept me away. I didn't want it to leak out. Yes, I mean, it feels like that. It, it's not exactly anxiety, but yes, it can feel like anxiety because it, it makes you jumpy and it's, um, whew, it's spacey energy. It's yeah, I totally get you. And you know what, Jules Niner? Uh, go to Marina's channel Thursday for the Lightworker show at 4 p.m. Central Standard or Mountain Standard Mountain Standard Time. Sorry. Uh, and we will talk about that. We'll talk about how it's affecting all of us. So <laughs> anyway, I have to stop talking now. <laughs> Because I don't want to talk about everything. We'll do that on the Lightworker Show. But please be safe and, you know, take a deep breath and rest. And we'll see you on Thursday. Love you all. Bye-bye.